Hi everyone, I'd like to do a tutorial on how to change your icons on a MacBook. Um, I don't know how commonly known this is or, or you know, if, if it's something that's going to get any views, but I figured I might as well share the information, you know, if you got it, share it. So, um, here we are. Now, the first thing you need to know is um, on your Mac, uh, your system has to be at least version 10.4 or greater in order for this to work. I don't know anything about um, versions earlier than that. So, um, as you can see, I have changed pretty much all of my icons and there, there really aren't many left to um, make changes to, but I'm going to show you one here. Give me a second. I'm going to do my switch. I just did a, a, a trial run, and so I have changed the switch um, application um, icon already, but I don't really like it, so I'm going to change it back. Now, it's important to know in the beginning um, that if you have your icon in the dock already, you want to remove it. Um, I mean, it doesn't really do anything, but when, once you do change it in your applications, it won't change on your screen until you remove it and put it back anyway. So you might as well just go ahead and remove it. You can either remove from dock or you can just pull it out and let go and poof, it's gone. So the first thing I want to do is, um, well, I decided already which one it was going to be switched. So uh, let me go ahead and pull up the website. The website I use is Icon Seeker. There are others and they're all really good. Um, I just used this one first and it was the uh, the easiest one and the best one for me. So um, all you do is go to www.iconseeker.com um, I'm not going to type it in because I've already done it www.iconseeker.com and then um, you type in what you want. So let's say I want to change my finder icon. I just click put in finder and there you go. There's plenty of different icons that you can use. Um, some of these are really, really great. Some of them are just very interesting. So, I mean, and there's pages and pages usually. There's actually not that many for Switch. I've decided on this little guy here. That's going to be my new Switch icon. So what I want to do is, I use, for my Mac, I use the uh, PNG. If it's smaller than uh, 256 by 256, um, it usually will n not work as well. Uh, so these smaller ones, I mean, you can use them, but they don't work as well. And if you use, uh, like, Light Icon, they definitely won't work. They won't even copy into the program. And I'll show you how to use Light Icon also, because you're going to need that to do your... Uh, finder icon. So all I want to do is pick the one I want and copy the image of it. Do not copy the image address. You can save as if you want to. I don't know the process for doing that. It doesn't work um, from inside my computer for some reason. So if I've saved it to my hard drive, it's just a waste of space for me. I'm sure there's a way to do it, but this is the easiest. So um, you just right click or use both fingers on your touchpad and push and uh, click on copy image and then you go to your finder go to the application that you want to change click on it and then and then uh, do the right click again and get info now some applications you have to have read and write access. Now these, this has already been changed because I just did it earlier, but um, most people they'll have um, one with a read and write and the rest without. You can do it without changing it, however it doesn't always work. It just depends on what the application is. So um, I have all my settings to read and write, my privileges. I go to the icon on the top left hand corner and click on it and you see it highlights very slightly. I go to edit and paste. My icon has officially changed. 
that's it. Now I'm going to take this icon and I'm going to stick it right back on my desktop. And there you have it, folks. Um, if it doesn't work, try it again. If it still doesn't work, um, reset your system. Um, sometimes that does help. Now, Light Icon, I really like this program. It, it, not Light like Icon. I can't type or talk today. There we go. It's, it's a pretty neat little program, and of course, it's free. Um, you open it up, and it gives you different uh, icons on your computer that you can change. Uh, some of these I've already changed, and some of them I have not. Full and empty trash can, as you can see, my trash can is a little different. And when I go in and actually empty it, you'll watch the icon to the right. Oh, well, never mind. It actually changes to another icon. Anywho, moving on. Get out of there. Let's say I want to change this widget here. This is the issue that I have. And the only issue that I have with Light Icon is that sometimes some of these just don't work. For instance, this 128 by 128. When I go to, you just drag and drop the, your pictures directly into Light Icon. And the issue that I have with that is the smaller icons won't drag and drop. You have to use the larger versions. If you can't find the larger virgin, version, then you have to do it the way that I, that I told you. Um, that's pretty much the only thing I can think that um, the reason why it doesn't really work. Um, so uh, subscribe, post comments. I don't usually do videos like this anymore, so I'd like to hear your feedback. If I rambled too much, please let me know, because I, I, I probably will do a video again. So. Thank you all for listening and tuning in. I really appreciate it. Yeah, the 256 by 256 usually works a little better. And there are probably better programs out there. I, I haven't done any research. I just came across this one um, and figured I'd share. So, hope you enjoyed your video. Like I said, if you have any questions, please let me know.